Bangers are like anybody else except richer by Ogden Nash. Ogden Nash in this poem gives us the true picture of the world of banking. He portrays the people who work there as the most despicable beings on this earth. He claims that the banks refuse to give you money when a person really needs it and choose instead to give it to people who want to spend on unnecessary things and commit different excesses. When it comes to the poor who really need the money, the bank sends them to their family and friends, refusing to help them mostly because the banks know they will not profit as much from them. This poem is thus used to highlight the hypocrisy the banks manifest, refusing to help the poor and instead making the rich even richer. Stanza 1 In the first stanza, the poet sarcastically tells us that he is going to celebrate the banks or the banking system. The reason he gives for this celebration is the fact that the banks are full of money. Here, the sounds of currency in a bank is compared to the sound the wind makes as it disturbs the trees on the hills. The leaves are compared to the thousand dollar bills. Stanza 2. In the second stanza, the poet criticizes the banks because they become rich only because they encourage deposits and discourage withdrawals. This is the reason why they can afford to live in marble halls. Bangers have a rule that they observe religiously. Never lend money to anybody unless they are in need of money. The word need here is used in an ironic way because for the banks only the rich are in need of money. Those bangers who do not follow this rule will be in trouble or will lose their money. Stanza 3 In this stanza, the poet directly attacks the policies of the banks. He calls the banks as conservative in their approach towards the poor. If people need money to pay their rent and approach banks for a loan, the banks deny them the loan. Banks mercilessly reject all the pleas from the needy. The poet mockingly advises the bankers to be indifferent and treat the people who are really in need of money with contempt. The banks, Nash advises, should tell the people to go and borrow money from their aunts or uncles. Stanza 4 In the fourth stanza, the poet describes the manner in which the rich are treated by the banks. Banks sanction loans to the rich based on the fact that the rich already have money. Those who have a million want one more million. The banks are more than happy to give it. Now they have two million and want two more. The banks without any hesitation give them two more. And they even ask the rich if they want the money to be sent or they want to take it with them. They are pro-rich and anti-poor. Stanza 5 In the final stanza, the poet appreciates the banks but does not really mean it. According to the poet, banks have to act as catalysts of social change. They have to see that the resources are evenly distributed among the various classes of society. They have to encourage the entrepreneurs and empower the deserving poor and hard-working people. But they are too cautious and conservative. They cannot discharge their duties to the society. They have to fulfill the objectives of the banking industry. They play safe and fail to realize their obligations and duties. They would only facilitate the rich to grow richer and the poor become poorer.